into the counting stream. Alrighty, so How do you this is the Armistead More Society. Well, we have with us Ethan okay, Keys. I'm going to listen in and just show with you what he, was a this uh, a gentleman postal, is describing uh, about that fraud. Mail in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, and he's going to tell the you back of him is back these bins. That he said that they were in being the brought office. in there like now, that, I, I, like I the post this. over the You've ball. Heard this pop up elsewhere. Traverse City, Michigan. Whistleblower steps forward and said the postmaster ordered him to backdate ballots. You all know about he the gentleman in Erie, Pennsylvania, that they claim recanted, but then he said, I never recanted. He overheard it. There's also Elkins Park, Pennsylvania, in which a gentleman was told that he must throw away or put in the bulk undeliverable mail, all Trump mail, and deliver Biden mail. There's a lot of whistleblowers in the United States Postal Service that give Oh, for okay, so it's about the and postal Ethan has come worker. forward and is going to share his story about concerns in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, that's a whistleblower about the... Uh, Thank you, Phil. Email frosty. So they're talking about During the run-up to and on Election Day, I was working as a temporary hire at United Mailing Services, UMS, a USPS subcontractor in Wisconsin. So it's happening I began now. I'm just on August 26th, uh, doing a little 2020, as a route driver and box truck driver. Fair this use meant my job report. was to pick up mail on a predetermined route and deliver it to UMS for sorting and metering. I would then take the sorted mail in my box truck to USPS. In September or October, I began to deliver mail and ballots from UMS to USPS as part of my evening delivery duties. I knew this because there was special bins marked for ballots only. On one occasion, I forgot to retrieve the ballots for transportation and had to go back for them. After that, I always made sure to check that I had the ballot bins loaded for transport. On November 2nd, 2020, I noticed that there was only one ballot in the bin for delivery to USPS. And on November 3rd, election day, there were no ballots in the bin for delivery. One can imagine my surprise then when the next day, November 4th, I was asked by a senior USPS employee named Monte if I had forgotten any ballots the night before. Monte explained that an order came down from the Wisconsin, Illinois chapter of USPS that 100,000 ballots were missing. Monte then told me that his post office had dispatched employees to look for the missing ballots around 4 a.m. Oh, that really makes you feel good about mail-in ballots, huh? Based on my previous experience and habit of double checking for ballots, I believe that to be a lie. The following day, November 5th, 2020, I had a conversation with a different USPS employee named Rachel, in which she admitted that USPS employees were ordered to backdate ballots that were received too late to be lawfully counted. I asked Rachel if I would get in trouble with my boss for those ballots the other night. Referring to the allegedly missing ballots I discussed with USPS employee Monte on November 4th, 2020. No, you wouldn't, she responded, as long as they were postmarked for the Ooh, third. storm is she coming. That's why the storm is coming. I didn't bring any of this to the attention of my supervisors at USPS at the time uh. due to what I perceived to be their hostility towards President Donald Trump. Whoa, I experienced the that. They won't even mail my I package. Same two post office employees I stood in line. The lady said, what? You got a Trump shirt on? Trump Get out of here. Throwing them away. I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm not a Biden supporter either. <laughs> in fact, I didn't vote for either of the main candidates. Oh, no. But something profoundly wrong occurred take a stand. in Wisconsin during the presidential take a stand. election. And the American people have a right to know about it. Thank you. So he is a neutral person that he just got a, a temp yeah, work at the USPS and uh, they told him to backdate the ballots that just that show up he nowhere. Did deliver all ballots. He said he did it right. Postal uh, workers claimed at a time when they were told to round up a hundred thousand ballots, found ballots within the stream of mail that he was responsible for. Wow. So Hundreds of thousands of ballots just showed up out of nowhere. Wow. There's an and I heard that they paid $10 um, that were to by others. 
create into, one, meaning that if you sign one and uh, for ballots to be counted. Uh, they'll By pay the you $10 way, per ballot, because that's uh, what I heard about uh, Philadelphia. They, they paid like $4 million for, for November 3rd. Uh, now, I guess, millions of ballots. The mail is a crime. To be forged. People don't do crimes idly. They do it for a reason. They do what it for a reason. What is the reason? the reason? What could be the reason? Yes, tell me. Tell now, me, tell me. Turn now to Jesse Morgan. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I want to... Set the scene a little wow, bit. Wow, look at these to bold my, bins. Uh, initial huh. interview with him. That's frightening. Um, in which Colonel yes, Schaefer you don't know what's in there. Me. That's all fake um, ballots, I guess. Jesse runs or it could be. a mail route for his employer, Tin Roads Express. Tin Roads and Express. And from <clears throat> the end of September. That's a page, New York. Through okay, October well, I'm gonna... 21st, when this incident occurred. Okay, I'm going to stop here for a second.